Hello, my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Let's continue on getting started with SimpleBeam by trimming the model, setting the requirements for your data, and using automated validation to guide your editing. Now let's start the actual editing by choosing the requirements for your task. In SimpleBeam, you do this by using a template. Not, however, that it is not mandatory to use templates in SimpleBeam, but they will make your Beam exchange much easier. The ready-made templates are found from the startup canvas or if the model is already open here in the editor tab. For now, let's click on the apply user template and choose this training template which includes the requirements for the EDI's energy analysis. Right away we can see which parts of the model are meeting the requirements and which are not. As you can see, the template also did most of the editing work automatically for you. For energy analysis, we only need walls, spaces, windows, doors, and slabs, and curtain walls, but we don't need furniture, columns, railings, stairs, trees, and such. Now let's fine tune the edits manually, but first let's go through some basic things. By double clicking on a viewport, you can move it to the center. 3D navigation works like this. You can navigate either with mouse wheel or with right mouse button. To rotate, use the right mouse button or mouse wheel plus shift key. There's a mouse wheel zoom. If you don't have mouse wheel, use right mouse button plus control key instead. Panning can be done with the middle mouse button or with right mouse button plus shift key. You can set the rotation point by pressing V and by left clicking on the place of your preference. Quick way of getting model into the right position is to use the basic views. Easy way to examine the model closer is to right click and zoom to select it. You can get back to the full view by right clicking and choosing zoom to fit. Or you can reset the view to the starting point quickly by clicking on the reset button. Area selection is started separately for each selection, like this. You can also start it by pressing shortcut A. That might be faster if you need to do it multiple times in a row. Use Ctrl to add to the selection and Shift to remove from the selection. Also, at any time you can find the context menu behind the right click. With the tooltip you can quickly view object data. Using Shift or the Ctrl key it will show you more data. Finally, note that most of the palettes, not just the 3D, have some options in the ribbon tab or at the info bar. Note also that you can drag and drop almost anything to anywhere and whenever you do an edit you can undo it by clicking the undo here. Now choose a quick select. It allows you to select objects based on different criteria. I'll start with object class. Hover over the walls, right click on the walls and use hide. Hover over the spaces right click and isolate them. Finally, I choose space name to find the unrelevant cross areas from the model. Hover over the cross areas and drag and drop them to the excluded pocket. You should drag and drop and keep the objects you don't want to exchange in the excluded pocket and the objects you want to exchange in the included pocket. Finally, I right click and show all the objects. When you're done with the objects, you are ready to trim the properties. Click on the walls. As you can see from the properties palette, most of the properties, or the gray properties, are already automatically excluded from the model. If you need to include additional properties, right click on the property and choose include selected. Or if you need to exclude properties, right click and choose exclude. If you want to find a specific property, use the search. Different use cases and even applications have additional special requirements for the models. This is where the simple PIM tools come handy. These are small checks and processors which can be run to the model, either here from the ribbon tab or from a template. For example, there shouldn't be duplicate objects in the model when using it for quantity takeoff. To make sure that this is the case, run the template. Note that the tool will automatically exclude duplicate objects for you. Or overlapping spaces are not allowed in the spatial program validation or in energy analysis. Run the tool 
and find out if there's any. Finally, it seems that there's still something wrong with the walls and slabs. If you hover over the validation icon, it tells you the reason. There seems to be issues with the values. Next, let's go to the property editor and fix this. Click on the property editor button and continue by watching the tutorial over there. See you in a bit.